guys. We're so tired. So tired. I thought we were supposed to go golfing today, but what even happened? <laughs> All I remember were lights and and and, and drinks. Yay! And and boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four, fuck everybody, just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.
Anyway, thank you so much to Guan Kim Golf Beach for all of these gifts. <laughs> so right now we're in Shangri-La Plaza and we're gonna go have dinner. Yeah, so we're just so hungry and tired. Yeah. So we're in the elevator with our shopping cart. Because <laughs> it was too heavy. Here are some PR goods from Quantum. Thank you, Quantum. Oh. Let's go. so tired so we're going home after this and um, we had a big day today yeah, we need some sleep yeah we need some sleep yeah today and see you guys uh, in the next part yeah see you in the next day <laughs> There's no croissant. There's no ham and cheese for <clears throat> Abort. No croissant for him. So we're here at Starbucks right now and we're just having a quick breakfast before we go to the gym later. And after that, we're gonna go home and watch Red, White, Royal Blue. So I actually watched it already by mistake because I forgot we were supposed to watch it together. <laughs> so it's my first time watching it. I'm gonna pretend I didn't watch it. <laughs> It's my first time watching it and um, I have a lot of expectations but I heard that there's a lot of scenes that got deleted. Yeah, it, it was originally three hours long 
but they made it, they squished it into two hours. Yeah. So there's so a lot of missing, a lot of, not just fun things, so we'll have to be missing. Okay. So we're so excited about that. Um, we're going to the gym after this one. So yeah, we just, you guys are gonna see it anyway. <laughs> what are you eating? Ice, hot chocolate. Hot chocolate ice. Hot chocolate na ice. <laughs> Is that really what it's called? Yeah. It's ice. in the menu, it says ice. But it's ice. I asked for ice because I don't want to. Oh. Did you know that? No, I did not. My favorite energy drink. Do you want one? No. This is the one I always get. So we're gonna get one of these. <laughs> <laughs> Look at our height here in this mirror. It's basically not like attached, but like look at that. Versus like right here. <laughs> this mirror is like attached. Okay. <laughs> it's ridiculous. is Draco. We got popcorn from Taters. So then now we're gonna go get coffee. Yeah. So before we watch that by Royal do. So we have everything we need, our coffee, our popcorn. And it's time to go home and watch Red, White, Royal, Blue. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's filter it. Wait, can you fix my hair?
Mm, is it rolling? Yeah, it's rolling. Why? Thanks. Okay, so um, as promised. <laughs> so as promised, um, we're going to be doing a Q and A. So we asked you guys to send over some questions on his Instagram and TikTok yeah. on what you'd like to know about us. Let's get right into it. <laughs> so the first question is, tell us your story. Okay, this is literally the most asked question of all time. So Vince and I actually met in high school. Wanted to show this. Um, we just wanted to show some of the PR gifts that um, Quantum Golf PH gave us. Um, so yeah. So basically, they gave us six bottles of these non non alcoholic Primo sparkling white grape drink. Thank you so much to Quantum Golf PH for giving us these. Um, Primo or Primo Sparkling White Grape Drink. Um, we have like six bottles. So. Yeah. And we also were given this, um, I feel like these are called gift boxes. So they're from Super Sue Market. So mine has a bunch of snacks. There's seaweed, some pies, cream pops, eclairs, and a Chupa Chups drink. Uh, thank you so much to Super Sue and uh, yep. Quantum Golf PH. That's all. Someone told me. Someone told me in TikTok that my current setup for a movie is not good because of all the ruffles. But like as you can see, like my wall is black. So they're gonna try projecting it on the ceiling. This is already a bit good. Okay. You got it. Oh, popcorn. Good morning. So we're about to go out today. Yeah. Where are we going? We're going on a date at Mega Mall. We're going to be celebrating your birth month for like the sixth time. Huh? <laughs> yeah. We're probably gonna go ice skating, probably yeah. coffee and all that to get some thrill. <laughs> yeah. So we just arrived at SM Mega Mall. Yeah. Genshin. Genshin Okay. No, I'll be the one to ask. Which one? The one in blue? The one in green. Uh, you're his favorite character. <laughs> Looks really cool. Oh my gosh, so many characters I like. <laughs> Are you friends? Yeah. Oh my god, I swear I'm following you guys. Oh, it's an actual cat.
That's where we're going to send you. We're gonna play laser tag. So we just bought our tickets for 5.30 p.m. Ice skating. Ice skating. Laser tag was not available. Yeah, so. their latest time slot was like two days. Yeah. Ice cream. We just we're just getting some time yeah. before ice skating. We book ice skating for 5 30 and it's almost 5 30 so we're just getting some time. Um, we got ice cream from Manila Primary, uh, one of our favorite ice cream shops. Uh, normally I would get a chocolate but the vanilla is so good. And my favorite flavor is their caramel milk but they didn't have that today so I just had this. Um, brown butter pulveron flavor is pretty good. We're about to go in! This is my third time to ice game. And I still don't know how. Wow!
Bye-bye, I'd scare anyone. <laughs> so we walked over to Podium for our dinner and we're still deciding where we're going to eat. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I read this book. <laughs> So my parents just got here and we're about to eat dinner. We were planning to go on a date, but uh, I guess it's gonna be a family kind of date now. <laughs> So the first question is, tell us your story. Okay, this is literally the most asked question of all time. So Vince and I actually met in high school. At the time, I only liked girls. So basically this entire story is just about how I found my bisexual awakening through this guy. Vince and I were actually seatmates, uh, but not by choice. Like we were seatmates because uh, our class roster had our last names next to each other yeah it was in alphabetical order our seating arrangement yeah so i was b12 and he was b11 i don't know if all schools have like class numbers but that was ours and so that led us being seatmates literally all the time obviously like he's pretty shy and i'm the more outgoing type like i'm you know i'm pretty friendly uh so i said hi he said hi as well but he seems very shy so I wanted to kind of like break the ice. So I asked him the craziest question. I asked him, Sino crush mo? Or in English, uh, who's your crush? Yeah, because at the time that was like you know, the, <laughs> the, the interesting, th th interesting thing to talk about. Among yeah, each you know, other. teenagers. Yeah, teenage thing. To kind of break the ice, or at least that's me. And then basically. Yeah, it was a normal question. Yeah, basically his response was, Why should I tell you we're not that close? We're not even friends, yeah. And like. <laughs> You know, that kind of like challenged me to <laughs> to yeah. become his friend. I was really just playing hard to get. <laughs> I wanted to seem a bit more interesting to him. Okay, fast forward, I guess it did work because we became best friends. We did literally everything together. Yeah, we were seatmates in a lot of other subjects when we went to chapel or we went to computer class, Chinese class. So Or literally any subject yeah, for that matter. We hung out in in our break times, lunch time. And not to mention every single um, project we've ever had, we're normally uh, partners by choice yeah. or <laughs> partners <laughs> choice. or or partners because of the class number thing. Yeah, yeah. So we're always literally doing everything together. And on top of that, we live so near each other that um, I can get to his house in like 10 minutes. So we, we became really close really quickly. Uh, we became best friends. And after that, uh, Vince kind of uh, came out. So at the time, Vince uh, came out to his group of friends who became my friends also. I was actually the last person to find out, um, which is kind of funny because uh, 
you'd think that I'm his best friend, I would know first. But mm -hmm. actually, I was the last one. And when I found out, I was actually pretty shocked. Because my gaydar is pretty horrible. I was um, pretty proud of him because that's a pretty bold thing to do to be able to come out to your group of friends and to be able to really accept it yourself. Ever since the time that he came out, I've been seeing signs that I start to like Vince. Um, the very first sign was uh, we had this group project in school. So the entire class was supposed to contribute to a, to a scrapbook. Each student had to submit one page in uh, everybody submitted kind of like a like a neutral color, black and white kind of aesthetic. But uh, Vince, he asked me to help him because I'm the creative one. If you guys don't know, I'm an architecture graduate. Um, I'm the creative one, so he asked me for my help. I asked him what he wanted to do with his page and he told me, I want colors. And I was like, why, why, why would you want colors? And he said, of course I want colors. Like, if you want something beautiful, I want to put colors. That's pretty new to me. Um, back in 2015, this was 2015, um, you know, colors weren't really a thing. And look at it now. Look at colors now. Like 2023, they're like a big... She's making a comeback. Yeah. But 2015, everything was about neutrals and beiges and black and white. Just so... What would you call that? Ahead of your time. <laughs> and I just... I don't know, I'm probably overthinking. I'm probably overthinking, but uh, that, that adds to the layer of like... Maybe I do like this guy, you know? The second sign for me was um, he had his crush on this guy. Um, at the time, uh, this guy was basically the opposite of who I am. So I guess in some way that made me feel jealous. So that made me like um, question because at the time when you only like girls, you don't understand these kinds of feelings, especially for a bisexual like me who didn't really have anyone to look up to. The third uh, sign was basically the gummy bear story. I liked this girl before. And for the very last Valentine's, um, I gave her a pack of yellow gummy bears. And that's because she really likes yellow gummy bears. Like yellow specifically. And if you guys know, you can't really buy gummy bears in a singular color. You have to like buy a, like it in assorted. So I had to basically buy a bunch and then pick out only the yellow ones for her. Uh, long story short, we didn't really end up together. <laughs> Vince asked for the rest of the gummy bears because he is quite of a sweet tooth, you know? Um, so I gave it to him because I, I don't really like sweets. While he was eating it, I asked him what's his favorite gummy bear color. And basically he said, and imagine like Vince with like a bunch of gummy bears in his mouth and chubby bunny style, he said, I like all gummy bears. I don't discriminate. He said, I like all gummy bears. I don't discriminate. And I just thought that was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Accompanied with a very cute face. It's very beautiful about a beautiful mind. I just thought like, how could he just talk about anti-racism and anti-discrimination in such a cute way referring to gummy bears. And I guess from that day on, I just realized, okay, maybe I do like Vince. So a lot of people ask like who confessed first. I really wanted to tell Vince about um, you know my crush for him, but uh, I really couldn't um, tell him because at the time I was still unsure of what I felt. I really didn't know. I didn't understand my sexuality as well. And on top of that, I'm just shy. <laughs> so I, I just told him I have a friend that likes him, um, but I couldn't tell him that it was me. But at this time. I was already in the middle of like developing feelings for him as well. So we just grew that feeling until one day <laughs> I just asked him in the middle of the room after school um, if <laughs> I asked him if he wanted to kiss me. We don't have an exact timeline of who developed feelings for who first. We did kind of like have a mutual confession when we had that first kiss when he asked me if I wanted to kiss him. That night was like a Friday night and um, it was after school. I was still very confused about everything. Yeah. But I definitely liked Vince. So when he asked me, all I could say was yes. I don't even know where I got the confidence. <laughs> it was just, very out of character. Yeah, revenge. he just yeah. looked really good at the time. <laughs> so basically, long story short, after that, we just kept making out um, until one day we just 
decided we were boyfriends. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's what happened. So that's the love story that everybody so wants to know about. It was very organic, very natural. There yes. wasn't like a specific Yeah, because a lot of people ask me like who who courted who, like what who yeah. made the legal, you know, but like between between the two of us we didn't have that like romantic flower gesture thing. Which a lot of um, other teens um, have. Yeah. So our love story is not perfect, I yeah. think. But you know.